Today I'd like to continue our discussion on the Book of Joy as we're trying to determine uh, how we can attain joy, uh, and of course, in attaining it, how we can spread it. <coughs> From the Buddhist perspective, as we're looking at the dialogue between Buddhism and Christianity with regard to joy, uh, there are eight pillars of joy from this Buddhist perspective. So let's explore those eight pillars of joy because I think they're going to give us a, <coughs> a good understanding of what joy is and how we obtain joy. And it's interesting the way the Buddhists divide it. They have, first of all, the qualities of the heart and then the qualities of the mind. So the interesting thing here is the balance between the heart and the mind. So let's start out with the heart. <clears throat> what you need for joy is forgiveness. Uh, if you don't forgive people, <laughs> uh, not too much joy uh, in you, right? Because, I mean, if you're not forgiving people, uh, you're holding grudges against them, you're thinking about things that they said or did, um, <laughs> no way will you be feeling joy. You'll be feeling anger at them. Uh, some people even get to the point where they want to plot revenge against them because of things that they've done or said to them. Uh, so, uh, obviously, forgiveness. Very important. And it's quality of the heart. Uh, we might sometimes place it with the mind, but no, it's the heart. The heart moves one to forgive. Uh, the second quality of the heart is gratitude. It's so important for joy to have gratitude, to be thankful for all of the amazing things that we have been given. A lot of times, the things that we have, we just take for granted. You know, we have food, we have shelter, we have clothes, and Sometimes we want more of them, or we want better, and uh, we don't have that gratitude, that thankfulness for what we have. And out of that gratitude, again, the quality of the heart, moved in the heart, with that gratitude, <coughs> with that thankfulness, we can then share joyfully what we have with other people, because we're not really possessive of that. We just want to give thanks for it. and. Share it with other people. So again, an important way to achieve joy. Uh, another quality of the heart, the third one, that's very important, is compassion. And we can see that, right? Because if we don't have compassion for other people, how can we have joy? Unless we're willing to reach out to another. Another who is sick, another who is in need unless we can feel the pain that they are in, uh, unless we can feel their situation, unless we can walk in their shoes, walk down the path with them, accompany them, then we're not going to have joy because we're going to be ignoring the needs of the other person. And somewhere in the back of our consciousness is going to be the sense of you know, maybe I should have helped her. Maybe I should have helped him. Maybe I could have reached out and brought a meal. Maybe I could have taken them out to eat. Simple acts. Maybe the person was discouraged, looked down. Maybe I could have smiled at them. Again, compassion. And the fourth and the final quality of the heart to uh, experience joy is generosity. Generosity, that sense of willingness to give to another. A generous spirit. And how we admire that in people, their generosity. So many times people will give us things, do things for us, help us. Uh, we don't even ask. They just provide it for us. Generosity. What a beautiful thing that is, to have that sense of generosity, that care for other people. <laughs> All of these qualities 
qualities of the heart can help us to achieve joy. So forgiveness, gratitude, compassion, generosity, leading to joy. So what about the qualities of the mind? Heart is important for joy. What about the mind? Interesting how this uh, these categories evolve in the Buddhist tradition. So the qualities of mind are humility. Very important to be a person of joy, to have humility, not to put ourselves first, but to think of the other. Uh, to be thankful uh, for what we have uh, and not to be seeking a higher position, a higher place. If it comes, fine. If it doesn't, to say, I am happy with what I have been given. So to be humble, to be truthful in terms of the gifts and talents that we have, to be a humble person. Second quality of the mind in the Buddhist tradition to achieve joy is humor. So we have humility, we have humor. The importance of humor, the importance of laughing. Laughing sometimes at ourselves, laughing at the foibles of life, laughing at the situations that we get in. To have that sense of laughter, so important to achieve a life of joy. We always comment on people who maybe take themselves too seriously. So that sense of uh, humor, very important to achieve joy. Third quality of the mind is perspective. To be able to put things into perspective when things are happening to us. Not to be overwhelmed, but to say, well, in time, we can work this out. Seems like it's very difficult. Seems like a, a hard situation. But there are others who are in similar situations, or even worse situations. And so if I put it in perspective, and if I am patient with it, sometimes things will work out very well in time. So if we lose our perspective and we become overwhelmed, we can easily lose that sense of joy. But when negative things happen, putting them in a certain perspective and saying, well, it could be worse. <laughs> you know, there are many times when we're, we're in that type of situation where something unfortunate happens and <laughs> somebody will and say, well, you know, so-and-so is worse off. Or look at these people who are really in this terrible situation. And then you talk to those in the worse off situation, and they're like, you know, they have a different perspective entirely about it. So the importance of perspective. And finally, the final quality of the mind is acceptance. Accepting those things in life that are given to us. Accepting that there are some things that we're not going to be able to change. Uh, certainly not being passive, trying to change the things we can, but some things we can't change. Some situations we just have to accept uh, and do the best in those situations. So those eight pillars of joy, we want to build a life of joy we have eight pillars that we can construct it on. Those qualities of the heart, forgiveness, gratitude, compassion, generosity. Beautiful way to live a life of joy. Then the four qualities of the mind, humility, humor, perspective, and acceptance. Taking those as our pillars, we can begin to build a life of joy.